Hello friends, so in the previous session we uh, found out the general nth term from the beginning of the AP. In this session we are going to take up nth term from end of an AP, right? So there are two ends, beginning and you know there will be end of the AP. So from the one side you can count, from the other side also you can count. So what is nth term from end of an AP? So let's observe the trend, okay? So for that what we'll do is we'll first draw a small table, right? And here we'll write from beginning, so from B, let's say, and from end, so E, okay? And let's try to understand the positions, okay? So I hope this is clear. So let's say uh, from beginning, position is first, and here, let's say, and before that, we have to also observe that there are how many terms? M terms in an EP. So something which is first, you know, uh, from beginning is mth from the the other other side, isn't it? Mth position. I hope this is clear to you. So, so let me start with yeah. So from beginning, if it is first, from end it will be m mth position. If it is second, it will be m minus one. If it is third term from the beginning, it is m minus second term from the correct. Uh, from the last right this is how so hence if it is mth here mth term from the beginning will be first term from the end isn't it so let's reverse this process now i'm saying from end here and this is from b what do i mean okay so let's say from end okay now i'm i'm taking from end first term i'm just re reversing it so from end first term is from beginning mth term so this will be called pm right from end second term is m uh, tm minus 1 right so the value of index will be m minus 1 so let me write it properly so the index is going to be m minus 1 and hence term is tm minus 1 please understand these terms are when i write t and suffix m and m minus 1 these are from beginning so this is m minus 1 of term from beginning okay now when from end third term is m minus 2th term from the beginning right so tm minus 2 tm minus 2 is the third term from the end right so from end nth term right from end if i have to find out nth term if you observe it will be simply so this will be n minus n plus one right the index will become m minus n plus one you can observe that so what two corresponds to m minus two minus one correct three corresponds to m minus one lesser than three right so hence it is actually i have to write this like m minus so actually i should have written it m minus n minus one like that correct so three corresponds to m minus two so n will correspond to m minus n minus one i hope this is clear correct so look closely you will get it so second term from end is m minus one from beginning third term from end is m minus two from beginning so nth term from end will be m minus n minus one of term so hence this comes out to be m minus n plus one and hence i can write this as t m minus n plus one right so nth term from beginning so what is the conclusion nth oh sorry nth term from end term from end is equal to m minus n plus one -th term from beginning correct this is what we learned so ns term from when m minus 1 and n minus 1 plus 1 of term from beginning can be written as t1 this formula we already have found out m minus n plus 1 minus 1 d correct why minus 1 because generic term of an ap is tn is equal to first term plus n minus 1 d so m minus 1 plus 1 of term will be t1 plus m minus 1 plus 1 minus 1d right so that is equal to t1 plus 
m minus n d right so nth term from end will be t1 plus m minus 1 d uh, uh, t1 plus m minus n d where m and n m is how much m is number of terms number of terms in that ap terms in ap correct Achha, if we want to uh, express it in the form of or from the last term itself for example what do i mean so here if you see there is the first term, mention of first term instead of that if i want to take it from the last term so don't you think that t m minus 1 is nothing but t m minus d 1 d less than the last term so t m minus 2 right so m minus 2th term from the beginning is t m last term minus 2 d right so hence t you know uh, nth term from the end so nth term from the end will be yeah so uh, let's say if you want to now nth term from end from end what will be nth term from end so first term this is this this guy is second term from end this guy is third term from end so nth term from end will be simply t m minus n plus 1 see the same thing correct don't get confused so t now this is t m minus n plus 1 from the uh you know uh, so the index will be m minus n plus 1 and this will be how much t m minus um m minus n m minus n uh no not m minus n it will be simply so you can use the correspondence so if when it is 1 so here is minus 1 when it is minus 2 here it is minus 2 so when it is n minus 1 here so it will be n minus 1 d i hope this is clear so don't get confused this is t actually m minus n minus 1 this one and whatever was here is coming with d there so this one is equal to t m minus n minus 1 d correct okay so m minus n minus 1 th yep so nth term from end is equal to last term so i can write like that nth term from end is equal to last term minus n minus 1 into common difference right this is what we can find out the nth term from both the beginning and the end so just to summarize t n from beginning right so whenever i write t n sub subscript n means it is from beginning is nothing but t1 plus n minus 1 d okay and nth term from from the end will be t m minus n plus 1 we just learned this is nth term from beginning right this is nth term from end right from nth term from end is as good as saying as t m minus n plus 1 and we learned this one as t1 plus m minus n d and if you want to express it from the uh, last term then this is t m minus m sorry not m n n minus 1 d right so t n is nth term from the beginning and nth term from end is t m minus n plus 1 right so nth term from beginning nth term from end so we have to express as t in subscript the moment i write t and subscript something it always say it is from beginning so hence don't get confused so nth term from e is m minus n plus 1th term from b from beginning right and that has two expressions in terms of first term and in terms of last term